What's up guys? I know I've been promising for a while that I was going to do the welding hats. Thing is, is I've had everything recorded, downloaded, all that, well not downloaded, but edited everything. And here at this trailer park, it's so hard to download to YouTube that it's just, it's almost not possible. I can connect sometimes, I can't connect sometimes. Uh, it starts uploading and then it stops and it takes like the upload times like 15 to 20 hours and uh, it's just it's just more trouble than it's worth so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try while I'm on the road I'm gonna try and just do everything on my phone now the videos are not gonna be quite as good uh, as if they were good before but I'll let y'all judge that uh, but content I've been promising y'all I've been promising, 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 I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do this. And I haven't been delivering. And I'm sorry, but I'm going to make it up. I was trying to do it right and do the computer thing and all that, but it's just not working. So I'm going to start putting everything on the phone until I get home or until I get a better laptop or whatever it takes. So anyway, what we're going to do now, we are going to do some welding hats. Now, quick story behind the welding hats. It all starts with this big old watermelon wrecking ball head that I got spent bunches and bunches of money trying to trying to get welding hats made and all that kind of stuff and it just it just don't work because I got such a big head that it either doesn't cover my ears or doesn't cover my neck or it looks like a yarmulke which is nothing wrong with that but it's not very good for welding so the first step is to come up with a pattern so that you can uh so that you can base everything off of makes it a lot easier uh what i usually do is take uh i took a hat that fit me pretty decent <clears throat> just some there was one or two things i didn't like about it but anyway what i did let's see if you can see it right here there's a seam here and then there's another one right here and anyway i just cut that seam out to get me a nice little triangle pattern and what i did is traced it to a couple layers of heavy fabric and came up with this. Now this is my pattern. This is this is what it's all about. Uh, so I did that, and then I come up with this for the bill. It'll come, but uh, that's what this is. So you're gonna need these two things. Now some of the other things on the list is gonna be a nice, a good pair of sharp, sharp scissors, a upholstery measuring tape or sewing tape uh what most people call it uh and then you're gonna need thread you're gonna need bobbins uh and then a sewing machine now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna leave it up to y'all to find somebody that either knows how to sew or knows how to rig up a sewing machine or anything like that just because my videos are so long uh i want to cover all the content but i want to keep you guys interested too so i'm gonna to have to do a lot more doing and a little less of the the in-between talking looking at me stuff so what uh i tell you what i'll leave it up to y'all if you want me to teach you every little single step let me know that's where you're gonna comment and all that stuff uh but for this particular video i'm just gonna go ahead and set up the machine and get my fabric and everything out. I'll show you how to cut it out and everything. Uh, and then we'll just go straight to sewing. So, so here's the fabric that I like to use. This is called, now I just ripped a little piece off just for the, just so I can show you how it works. But this is 100% cotton twill. Uh, now twill uh, on fabric, twill, tweed, all that stuff is gonna be the pattern that it's woven in. Now, uh, now twill is a heavy fabric. Uh, a lot of times, it's it's what uh, it's what thicker welding shirts are made of. Uh, but there's a very distinct pattern on one side from the weave, and then there's kind of a flat side. <clears throat> now, what I usually do is I like for the the side with the raised pattern. Let's see if you can see it. Yeah, you can kind of see those lines. And then the other side is just super flat and smooth. But uh, I like to take the raised, the raised panel side. Let's see if it'll focus. You can kind of see in the edge of the screen there. But I like to take the raised panel side. That's what's going to be to the outside of the uh, 
the welding head. So I like to take the raised panel side and fold it to the inside, okay? And then fold it in half one more time. And that's gonna give you your four layers. Now, then I take, take this, take my pattern, put on there like that. And I trace it out, cut it, uh, and then I'll have my four patterns. Now, you have to do the same thing uh, for your for your bill, but I usually just fold it three times. But make sure when you fold it, because you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna weld it or you're gonna sew it inside out, and then you're gonna fold it back on top of itself. So make sure that the pattern that you want to see on the outside is to the inside to start off with. Now uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the pattern out and everything, uh, and then I can oh oh. oh the the fabric for the headbands this i get these in what's called fat quarters and you can get them at the fabric store you can get them at walmart they're usually right in front of the uh the the big pieces of fabric or the big rolls of fabric uh but they're a lot cheaper and they come in smaller pieces now the reason they do these is whenever whenever a company or fabric company makes something Everything has to be trimmed to a certain uh, to a certain length or, or width, and uh, this is what's left over. So what they do instead of just throwing it away, they just fold it up real neat and put a sticker on it and call it a fat quarter. Uh, now I've used I've used bandanas, I've used twill uh, out of the same the same stuff that I make to buy. These tend to be after you wash them, they tend to be a little softer. Uh, they're not as rigid or rugged as the uh, as the twill. But, uh, but they work good, and after you wash them, they end up being real comfortable. And uh, so that's what I like to use. And uh, I usually do about a one and a half to two inch headband. It's up to you, however you want to do it. But all you do is, it comes in a deal. Whenever you unfold it, it looks like this. Now, whenever you, you want to measure either a one inch, if you're gonna do, if you're gonna do an inch and a half, Usually you're going to measure it two inches because you're going to do a quarter inch seam, so you're going to end up losing that fabric. But uh, so you measure out your two inches, you measure that out, get you a little snip, and in order to get it straight, you're going to tear it. So this is what you're left with: a nice straight panel. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to get all that taken care of. Uh, get the sewing machine set up and try to get y'all some footage of the sewing. Uh, that way y'all know how that goes. So, see you in a second. Alright guys, here we go. <clears throat> now like I say, before you start sewing, make sure that your panels are the way you want them. And you're going to lay them whichever side you want to the outside. You're going to put facing each other. And I'll show you why in just a second. So, you want to make sure everything's lined up. <clears throat> Find the bottom and the sides, and you're gonna you're gonna uh, sew one side of it together. So pick out your seam and run it. Now we're gonna start. We're gonna go forward, and then we're gonna back stitch, and then we're gonna run it through, and then back stitch again at the end so that it'll hold. back of every pressure foot on the sewing machine there's a little hook and it's the snip find it there it is so now you got your first panel okay all right now repeat that step twice with your other two pieces <laughs> 